we're getting ready for the great adventure. Next, Stacey's gone bush. This is going to be an overnight hike that we're going to do. Um, eight mushroom rocks with our cousins. We're not actually going to eat mushroom rocks this time. We're going to head up to the Bawbaw Plateau and walk along there, which is a different end to where we've been before with mushroom rocks. This is some of the stuff we're getting ready to get into our five different overnight hiking packs. Should be good fun. Happy New Year! It's the first day of 2022 and we're starting the new year on a positive note, heading up to the Bawbaw Plateau for an overnight hike. Yeah, it's pretty warm in Melbourne, so we're looking forward to getting up to about 1500 metres where it'll be nice and cool for us to do a bit of walking. Uh, we've walked in this area quite a bit, but we've never done this walk that we're attempting today, so hopefully it's a bit of fun. And we're going to be where these big packs um, that we got from Santa. We're going to be carrying our clothes, our drink bottle, our sleeping bag, and our rollout mattress. Very good. And something exciting today is that we're bringing along our nieces who are doing their first overnight hike, three-year-old and a five-year-old. So this won't be an ex an, a long hike, but it'll be an exciting one for the kids. You already know them because they're Isabel and Phoebe from um, Darwin, who did the water slides with. And their parents are coming along to be pack horses as well. <laughs> so the drive up Borbor is beautiful and scenic, but proving to be a bit challenging for the kids. What's going on, guys? Yeah, it's a very windy road. It's not going too well with the stomachs. Yeah, had a couple of stops so far. We're about to embark on a little adventure. We're up at Mount Borbor and we're gonna walk along the plateau, spend a couple of nights out doing some hiking. How are you going, kids? Oh, really good. Phoebe, how do you feel about your first ever overnight hike? Good. How about you, Isabel? Uh, good. Is your bag a bit heavy? Uh, it a bit, but not that much. Oh, good. <laughs> and we've got Libby and Sam up there. Ready to roll. Let's get going. So do you want to tell us a bit about the walk we're doing, Mark? Sure. So we're leaving Borbo Village, and we're heading up to the Australian Alpine walking track. Really? And then we'll probably stay at the junction there tonight. Should only be about four or five k to get there. And then we're going to head up towards Saint Guinea, Mount Saint Guinea. Probably stay at the saddle uh, over that way, where there's also water supply. Yeah, we went the short and steep. I think we've done it now. Get some altitude. Woo. Bit of a break, eh? Is this like a power and like a big bear? Is baby there on the back? <laughs> Well, you're nine years old. What's in your backpack? I have my clothes, my water bottle, a sleeping bag, which is not going to particularly be mine, and I had my hat in my bag. But I don't have. And your raincoat? Anymore. And your bedroll? And I also have my raincoat and then my bedroll. Well done. Looks great. And how's it feeling? Well, it is a bit sore on the hips, but not particularly. Um, so plus it, you feel good because mum and daddy aren't having to carry all the weight. Nice one, Elle. Off you go. One of the truly beautiful things about the Borbor Plateau is these snow gums. Unfortunately, throughout most of the Alps in Victoria, the snow gums have been burnt fairly recently. They're not growing back after the fire. Well, they do re-sprout, but they re-sprout from the base if it's been an intense fire, so it can take a long time for them to look like this again. So where are we 
we, Mark? This is Mount, um, the summit of Mount Hillac. It's probably about another 20 metres or so up to the can up there. It's a good campsite here. We've got about four tents scattered in here. We'll get another one over there. Probably another three or so down there. It's probably capacity for about 10 tents or lot. Down in the saddle, there's probably capacity for about maybe six tents, but there's already a couple there when we went past, so we didn't want to sort of bomb their space. It's just an awesome spot to play in amongst the rocks. And what do we do for water around here? It's a bit of a hike, so you can go back down towards the saddle and then head down uh, through some pretty nasty scrub to try and find some water. We'll just keep on taking this track and you basically get down to the sink when you turn off. It's about one and a half k to get down there. Kids are in bed, sun's just setting. How's the serenity? It hasn't been raining, but there have been a lot of mozzies. There so are, a lot of hoods going up. There are so many mozzies, especially around Sam and I. They're everywhere. Bit of a day hike today. We're heading from our campsite at Mount St. Falak and we're going over to Mount, Mount St. Gwinia. So probably be about 4k there, 4k back I think. But the good news is the kids don't need to wear their packs so it should be a fairly no, easy just, day. I'm just carrying the rain jacket because I want to. Good girl Amber. Mm. Alright guys, let's hit the track. So this is a St. Guinea camp saddle. It's about 200 metres away from the water supply. And it's a nice spot. These space are about four to six tents scattered amongst the snow gums here. Sometimes called rock shelter. I guess that's why. Mount St. Quinea Saddle, which is another great place you can camp. Beautiful rocks around here and snow gums once again. But it reminds me of many years ago when we came up here as a child and we'd never done any hiking in the Alps before. We were told just bring loads of sun cream and air guard because there'll be heaps of March fires. But instead of March fires, it was freezing cold. We were so cold. We had, had sun hats on our heads, socks on our hands, and we couldn't even get our two minute noodles to boil in the transier. We just had to eat it raw. It was a fun night with some family friends trying to cook for dinner over an open fire. The socks melted into the fire and dropped the dinner in there. The other family had to eat off the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, quite the adventure and it made such an impact on me I ended up writing a poem about it. Ah, it's fine, it's beautiful. Top of the stream. What river would this feed into, Mark? Any idea? Uh, I reckon going to the Latrobe by the tyres. Mm. The upper reaches of the Latrobe, hey?
So well, we've been out here for a little while now and what are your tips to people that might want to come out here and do some walking? You probably want to stay like two or three nights so you have a bit more time to explore the area. Yeah, cool. Some good walks around, aren't there? And it's not that, hill, not that hilly once you're up here. Yeah, like there's a few ups and downs, but going back and going forward, there's no difference in heels. Yeah, cool. Thanks, Elle. And um, Eva, what are your tips for making a hike like this good fun? Well, there's a lot of spots to explore in the campgrounds. What are some of your favourites nearby? Um, the big rocks there and the rocks down the path a little bit. And that all the hiding spots around. Yeah, good tip. If you do this walk, you probably want to bring some bushland because there's heaps and heaps and heaps of butterflies. Yeah, big march flies, aren't there? Yeah. And then at night, what comes out? Um, the mozzies. Oh, they're ginormous around here. <laughs> yeah. And is there something good to do? Is there something that's fun to do around here? Yeah, play on the rocks. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Thanks, mate. Oh, I know what to say. Yeah. My favourite thing on the hike was going to bed and falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like your sleeping mat? Yes. What type of sleeping mat was it? Uh, same as yours. That's a foam mat. A foamy? <laughs> They're comfy sometimes, eh? Good one. That's a good idea. So, Phoebe, yeah. would you be able to tell me something good about this trip or something you do to make it fun when you go walking? Uh, well, I don't really want to. Oh. You don't want to, but you will? Yeah, but I want to, like, get my clothes on and have a shower. Oh, okay. And so having a shower is quite nice, is it? Yeah. Yeah? What else is nice? I don't know. Don't know? No. You've done a great job walking. How old are you? I'm three. Three. Well, that was fantastic effort. See you, peeps. See you, peeps. <laughs> Go on, say something now. No. Do you like that? All right, you like showers. Bye bye. Bye bye. It's probably about 9 a.m. Campsite's all packed up without a trace. Oh, 10 to 10. And we're getting our packs back on. Where are we heading off to today, Izzy? We're heading back home. That's right. Yeah, we're going to probably do the final summit of the walk, which is Mount Borbor, oh, so on our way back, there. Which, we're heading back down the way that we headed before. That's oh, right. And up. it should be a fairly easy walk down to the resort. And when I say Mount Borbor summit, I don't think it's really climbing a summit. So off we go. Feeling good, Amber? Yeah. Good. So this is the saddle for Mount St. Philic. It's a nice campsite here. There's probably space for about maybe four tents across it. Beautiful area, and we've just discovered that we're above the clouds this morning. Back in the Ball Ball Resort and enjoying the luxury of a chair, hey Libby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we've got a few friends. These are the March flies. They look bad, but they actually don't really bite too much, so. So here we are at Von Mueller's lookout near the summit of Mount Borbor and we're looking directly across to where we camped near the summit of Mount St. Falak. And you can see the saddle right in the middle of the shot. And we walk down that away. Back towards us here. Mount Borbor. Nice. Great, and you've almost finished the walk. Yeah, we're almost done. Cool. And when we're done, yeah. we're going to have desserts and treats. Yummy, yummy, and yummy. Cream, and we're going to have to like surprises like some of the trampolines that are down the bottom. Sounds fun. Oh, you do have energy to go on a trampoline. <laughs>